Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Guys, today's video is a requested video from one of my lovely, beautiful, loyal subscribers. She asked me to do a video about my favorite niche fragrances. Well, actually, the video that she wanted me to do, it was something with threes, like three niche fragrances that I would wear for like each event or something like that. But I decided to make it just a little more simple and give you guys a list of my 12 niche fragrances for life. Yes, 12, because I just felt like it was fair and not to do 10 because I mean, I feel like I have close to 300 fragrances at this point. So 12 is a good number for me to pick out my niche fragrances within that number. And these are the ones that I will always repurchase. I will have for life. I absolutely love and adore these 12 fragrances. I absolutely love and adore all of my fragrances. Like, let's be clear. But for the purpose of the video, I chose the 12 that just spoke to me faster you know like if you were a little slow on speaking to me saying pick me pick me then you didn't get chosen so you got to be quick if you want to get chose right <laughs> if you're interested in knowing my 12 niche fragrances for life then just continue to watch before we get started with the video please make sure to subscribe to the channel make sure the red button turns gray tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads thumbs up the video so i know you love my content and finally Leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. Hey guys, if you've been following my channel for a while, you'd have known that I did a 10 niche fragrances for life in the beginning stages of my channel, like back in the day, <laughs> which was just a year ago. But my list has obviously changed because my collection has grown and I've introduced new fragrances to my collection that have either pushed some stuff out the way or you know, some may still be here. So just continue to watch and you'll see which fragrances didn't make the cut or what have you. So this list is not going in any particular order. It was hard enough for me to choose the 12. Now, the first fragrance on the list, let me tell you guys, I went back and forth at least five times to the point where I was like, okay, girl, calm down, bring it back. You're not giving up your collection. So that like comforting factor made it easier for me to choose this fragrance because I was going back and forth between this and the original. And when you see this fragrance, if you know this channel, you guys are gonna be probably a little bit surprised to know that that fragrance isn't on the list, but I chose this one, the extreme version of Love Don't Be Shy. Yes, I know, roast me. Roast me and toast me, okay? Just serve me to the wolves, I don't know. But I just, here's the thing. I chose the extreme version because I've been wearing the extreme version so much as of late. I love Love Don't Be Shy. You guys who know me and know this channel, you know that is one of my ride or die fragrances. But the extreme version, right now, like if I had to choose today, now I'm not gonna say today. If I had to choose this hour of which fragrances, like if I had to give everything up and only keep the 12 and go back and forth between this and Love the Original, Right now, in this moment, I'm choosing the extreme version of Love Don't Be Shy. <sighs> Guys, for me to have this on this list and not Love Don't Be Shy, this is big. This is a huge, monumentous moment and we need to document it. But I'm really secure in my decision right now because this fragrance is so beautiful, guys. It's a little bit fresher. It has that rose note. It's still very sweet, still orange blossom, still marshmallow, still very cloyingly sweet. But let me tell you, you can't go wrong with either one, the extreme or the original. So love don't be shy, extreme. The next fragrance on my list is Delina. Guys, this fragrance was sitting on the shelf for about two months when I first purchased this fragrance in 2019 because it was just, it was very different for me and it's still different, but I absolutely love this fragrance head over heels in love. I never want to be without this fragrance in my collection. All the Delinas are dope. All the Delinas are fire. But in today's video, I chose the original Delina because she's very pretty. This fragrance makes me feel flirty. It makes me feel feminine. It's a very feminine fragrance. It's very sophisticated and classy, but yet playful and flirty. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's a beast. She's very feminine and very flirty, but she wants everybody to know that. Like, here I am, feminine, flirty Delina. Like, that's this fragrance right here, guys. She's so pretty. Bay loves this fragrance. I wear this fragrance so much in the spring and summer. This is just a beautiful fragrance. When I'm wearing florals or pink or just any girly, you know, feminine outfit, like this is the fragrance that I'm reaching for and I get compliments on this fragrance all the time. Everyone loves this fragrance. I'm so mad I had it on the shelf for two months, but you know what? 
her sitting for that time, I've just appreciated her even more. Like this fragrance is a ride or die. I absolutely love it. I have the shower gel. I have the body cream. I have travel sprays. I have the hand cream. The only thing I don't own from Delina is a hairspray. There is a hairspray. Oh, and I don't have the candle. I don't know if they're reformulating the candle, but I've been trying to find the Delina candle and I cannot find it anywhere. It's not on the Parfums and Molly website. I can't find it on the Nordstrom website. It's not in any stores. If you guys see it, like, let me know. Send me a link. I feel like I need the candle to make my Delina collection complete. But guys, this is a very beautiful fragrance. You cannot go wrong. I know a lot of people don't like this fragrance because it's sour, it's tart, you know, what have you. Like, all, you know, all the things that they say about Delina. But this is the reason why I absolutely love this fragrance. Let me tell you some of the notes. It opens up with bergamot, there's rhubarb, there's nutmeg, there's Turkish rose, there's peonies, there's vanilla, there's musk, there's vetiver, there's incense. Guys, this is a very intoxicating, sexy, feminine, flirty, girly fragrance that I feel like every feminine woman should have this in their collection. This is my ride or die chick right here. And guys, this fragrance is expensive. It retails for about $320. But let me just let you know that So Avant Garde also carries Parfums de Marly. So you can purchase Delina using my 20% discount code, thegreat 20 and save 20%. Because if you're looking to get a discount on this, you're probably not going to find it. Um, especially from a reputable distributor, like an official distributor of the brand. So have no fear. Delina by Parfums de Marly. So next on the list is Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Joe Malone. Guys, this is hands down my absolute favorite fragrance from the house of Joe Malone. I mean, I love... Actually, let me take that back. It's one of two of my favorite fragrances from Joe Malone. The next one is also on this list as well. But guys, this is a fresh, clean, salty, warm sea breeze. So clean, it's so fresh, but it still has layers to it. And let me tell you, Joe Malone has a bad reputation of fragrances not lasting on people's skin. It is what it is. This is actually a cologne. Like, it's not even a cologne intense. But guys, this lasts on my skin. I have no issues with this. I mean, it could be because I have the shower gel and I layer with the body cream, and then I top it off with the fragrance. And then I also have my sample decants of Woods Agency Salt. So I'm smelling like Woods Agency Salt all day, every day. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's so good, guys. It's so, so good. So it's Ember Seeds, Sea Salt, and Sage. It's so simple, but I mean, guys, this is a winner. Like seriously, if I had to choose just one Jo Malone fragrance for like my entire life, this would be the one, Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Joe Malone. Like I said, it's fresh, it's clean, it smells like salty sea breeze, but still something that you can wear all year round. This is not an offensive fragrance, it's something that you can wear to work. I get compliments on this fragrance all the time. People love this fragrance, and most people tend to like fresh and clean kind of scents anyway, so this is a fragrance that you're definitely gonna get compliments on. If you're around someone who doesn't really like fragrance, and you know, maybe like your Tiziana Terenzi's or your Nishane's or you know, any of those fragrances would offend them. This one right here, you cannot go wrong with Wits Agency Soap by Jo Malone. It's a beautiful fragrance and definitely a for lifer. So the next fragrance on the list is Creed Aventus for her. Guys, this is a staple. This should be a staple. Another one that should be a staple in everyone's collection. This fragrance right here is so versatile. It's one that you can wear all seasons in all weather types, all climates. Smell of this fragrance makes me think of vacation. It makes me think of Greece. It makes me think about sailing on a yacht. It makes me think about wearing linen in the summertime, but also a great fragrance for the fall. Guys, you see this light color juice? This is a beast, okay? Don't let this fragrance fool you. This is a beast. I don't think it's a safe flying by. I don't think it's for everyone. It's a beautiful scent that smells so unique to my nose. It's different. I've never smelled anything like this. There's nothing on the market that I feel like is similar to this fragrance because it's just that different. So it opens up with patchouli, there's green apple, there's bergamot, lemon, pink pepper, there's violet, sandalwood, rose, musk. Guys, there's a lot of notes in this fragrance. There's peach, there's black currant. It's, it's packed, okay? It has a lot of notes in here, but it smells amazing. It lasts forever. Another one that gets compliments. It's rich smelling. It's a fragrance that everyone needs in their collection if you wanna smell different. If you don't wanna smell like anyone else. If you want your fragrance to last on you forever, it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, guys. Creed Aventus for her. 
So the next four life fragrance on the list is by Killian and this is Woman in Gold. Guys, I think I wore this fragrance at least 30 times <laughs> this summer. This is such a beautiful fragrance. It's so creamy, it's woody, it's so pretty guys. It opens up with bergamot, there's mandarin orange, there's aldehydes, there's rose, there's freesia, there's Akigala wood, there's tonka bean, there's patchouli. This is a date night fragrance. It's a girl's night fragrance. I mean, you can wear this fragrance whenever you want to wear it. You know what I mean? It's sexy, but it's not so super sexy that you can't wear it in the daytime or maybe you can't pull it off to wear, you know, with your girls or, you know, something in that type of situation. But it's such a, this is a statement maker. It's such a statement maker. It's a long lasting fragrance. It smells so good. I absolutely love it. And that's Woman in Gold by Killian. So the next fragrance on the list is 540 Rouge and it's the x -Trait. And this is another one that I went back and forth with because I wanted to put the original, but I mean, the x kind of took over because it's the almond note for me. <laughs> Guys, this is a beautiful fragrance. It's soft, it's creamy, it's sweet. It's not as sharp as the original, although I love the original. That was actually my first niche fragrance ever. Like ever, ever, forever, ever, like ever, ever. That was my first niche fragrance. Like came out the door with Baccarat Rouge, like what? <laughs> you know what I mean? But then I graduated, you know, to the x straight and I absolutely love this. And if I had to choose today, which out of the two, which I would, you know, want for life, it would be this one right here. And then tomorrow I'll probably be crying because I want, you know, the original. So it opens up with bitter almond, there's saffron, there's jasmine, there's cedar, ambergris, musk, and woody notes. Guys, I mean, what can I say about this? I have, so how many times have I spoke about this fragrance or the original on my channel so many times guys this is a must i know it's super pricey it's very expensive and there's so many dupes to this fragrance out here on the market but honestly there's nothing like the original i i'm just i'm i'm sorry i know it's pricey and honestly like i feel like if you can buy the dupe that's maybe $20, 30, 60, however much the dupe is costing, then I feel like you can also save and just wait a little longer and get the original. Like, I mean, for me, like that's just the smart thing to do because it's there's nothing like the original one. And two, you're probably gonna spend more money purchasing dupes and trying to find clones and oh, this smells the same, this smells the same when, you know, you could just get the thing and just be done with it, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I absolutely love it. This is the x -ray version of Baccarat Rouge 540. The next fragrance on the list was my first cupcake and this is Passion de l'Amour by the House of Sillage. Guys, this will always be repurchased. As a matter of fact, I feel like when this is done, I'm going to get the, like the really crystallized, beautiful cap like you know that I'll, I'll leave a picture up um that one guys because that's how much i love this fragrance i got this fragrance like earlier on i got this fragrance in was it i got this fragrance early 2020 they purchased this fragrance for me for my birthday in 2020 and this was literally right before we shut down right before new york shut down right before the stores closed down I got this fragrance so i could not wear this fragrance like really out anywhere like i was wearing it in the house and i was loving it like seriously loving it. although when i smell it it makes me think of that time in life i still created like sexy going out date night memories with it after when we started to open up so i just love this fragrance it smells amazing when i wear this fragrance i feel so rich i feel like that chick i feel like just on top of the world like it's a beautiful fragrance let me tell you the notes it has saffron there's raspberry there's caramel there's amaris there's oud and leatrix absolute it's so exotic it's so sumptuous it's also a little bit creamy as well and like i said to you guys the oud in this fragrance is so beautifully done it's so soft i'm not sure if it's a natural oud or you know synthetic oud i don't know what it is but it smells amazing and i absolutely love it it lasts really long on my skin i get compliments with this as well i have the travel sprays i have the little cute um travel spray case um i got the green one the green and gold this fragrance right here guys is definitely a winner and i will always want this in my collection Passion de l'Amour by the House of Siage. So the next fragrance on the list is by Jo Malone and this is Myrrh and Tonka. And guys, this is literally, like this probably has like two or three sprays left. 
possibly so i'm getting another bottle obviously because this is a this will be a repurchase like all the time i absolutely love this fragrance i have the shower oil which you guys if you don't have any of joe malone shower oils you need to get them get at least one because it's such a beautiful shower experience guys for me the fragrance isn't just like when i'm spraying it on after i'm dressed the fragrance experience starts from the shower antibacterial dove you know very basic but it does the job and then after that, then whatever scented body wash, like it's a two-step process for me. Then whatever scented body wash, and I'm using that. And I know that probably dries out my skin. Somebody's probably gonna tell me, but that's why you have dry skin, sis, because you be, you know what? It's all good. Like, because I will moisturize and moisturize and moisturize and bring the moisture back to my skin. And I also drink a lot of water because I just love that experience. Like, it's all a part of self-care. And like I was saying with the shower oil from Myrin Tonka, it smells, if you love the scent of Myrin Tonka, you need the shower oil because that is going to last on your skin like you you know use like an antibacterial wash like dove or whatever you want to use um to shower first then you go in with your shower oil and that leaves like a nice moisturizing film over your skin it's so beautiful and then after that you use the body cream to and tonka listen you probably don't even need the fragrance after all that seriously but then obviously you know like, who's not wearing the fragrance? Not I. Then I'm spraying myself down with this Myrin Tonka, and I also have decants. Come on now. Guys, this is so beautiful. It's like fall in a bottle, like sweater weather, fall in a bottle. It's so good. It is unisex, but honestly, like, I still feel feminine, and it still smells like a beautiful woman's fragrance on me. I'm sure it'll smell amazing on a man. So it's so simple with the notes, guys. It's myrrh. There's almond, there's vanilla, and there's tonka bean. It's so beautiful. It's warm, it's comforting, it's sexy. I can't stop raving about this fragrance right here, guys. Myrrh and Tonka by Jo Malone. The next fragrance on the list is Talea by Tiziana Terenzi. Guys, this was in my Holy Grail video. It'll always be Holy Grail. It'll always be a four-lifer. This right here is that laundry fresh, beautiful, clean smelling scent from Tiziana Terenzi. Guys, this is everything. This is so amazing. Like seriously, this is one of those fragrances where you can wear this to a wedding. You can wear this on a date night. You can wear this to brunch. It smells so good. It lasts forever on my skin. I absolutely love this fragrance and this will always be a repurchase. If you wanna sample this fragrance, guys, which I suggest doing, go on soavantgarde.com. You can use my discount code on samples as well, The Great 20 If you just wanna buy it, buy it, but I think you should sample it. Guys, a lot of you always ask me about blind buys. Let me tell you what it is about the blind buy. If you're asking someone who's very passionate about said fragrance, they're gonna tell you, oh yes, this is a safe blind buy because they love that fragrance. But I mean, it may be safe to them because they love that fragrance, but it's not gonna be safe to you because we're all different. Fragrances are subjective. I'll probably say it sometimes because I know you guys always want to hear it, but take it with a grain of salt because I'm not trying to be responsible for y'all getting a fragrance that just does not work on you. I'm going to suggest getting a sample. I'm going to say I love it down to the ground. And if you want to take that, you know, you can take that and run with it. Take it, run, fly, drop, whatever you got to do with it. But I'm just telling you that for me, this is everything so this has a lot of notes in it as well there's bergamot there's a uh, sicilian orange there's ambergris there's jasmine there's heliotrope there's red patchouli there's musk it's just a beautiful scent guys it's fruity it's musky um it's i smell like a pear note in this fragrance because i do layer this fragrance with a pear um body cream from elizabeth arden what is going on with my cap see you got to be careful with these bottles right here because this cap is like a hockey puck you know so you just be careful with these tiziana terenzi caps because just make sure that you know you you clamp it on really tightly and you don't pick it up from the cap i don't pick up any tiziana terenzi bottles from the cap i learned the hard way that you don't do that because you think the cap is on but it's really not on and if it falls on your toe listen <laughs> you're gonna be walking around with flintstones feet so anyway this is a beautiful fragrance guys i absolutely love it it's clean like laundry fresh clean for tiziana terenzi but it's so beautiful i absolutely love this i'm obsessed with it for life holy grail all of the things talea by tiziana terenzi so the next fragrance on the list is by kajal and this is lamar guys look at this bottle 
this bottle right here i mean like this bottle just makes me think of the middle east it makes me think of dubai it makes me think of abu dhabi it makes me think of rich and opulent and just wealth like that's what this bottle like every time i look at it it just puts me in the mind of but the juice inside guys this is a beautiful tropical woody musky pineapple fruity fragrance Listen, if you ever ask me to do a for life video like five years from now, 10 years from now, this will always be on that list. This is everything. First of all, I love fruity fragrances. I love tropical fragrances. I love pineapple, okay? Like pineapple is good on the skin. It's good in your body for, you know, just trust me, ladies. The pineapple is the way to go. Whether you want to smell like it, eat it, whatever, you need the pineapple, okay? Wink, wink. <laughs> So it opens up with pineapple, there's red berries, there's apple, there's cardamom, there's coriander, there's Bulgarian rose, there's Turkish rose, there's jasmine, magnolia, vanilla, amber, cedar, moss, musk. Guys, I mean, like everything is in here and I love this fragrance. It lasts forever. This fragrance can be worn in the summer. It's a vacation fragrance. It's a spring fragrance. It's a fall fragrance. It's a whenever you want to put it on and slay. This retails for, I want to say two something. It's not quite $300. And you can purchase it from the Kajal website. That's where I got mine. It's a beautiful fragrance, guys. Like I said, love the bottle, love the juice inside. The performance is amazing. Compliment getter. And when I tell y'all that the pineapple lasts throughout the entire life of the fragrance, do you hear me? The pineapple lasts the entire life of the fragrance. You know, a lot of times you get fruity fragrances and you, you know, you love the opening because it opens up with that bright fruit, whatever it is. And then, you know, it dries down, it fades away after a while. Not this one right here. The pineapple is in the opening and it lasts all throughout the fragrance. I don't know how they did that, guys. And it's also a little smoky. It has like just a slight hint of smoke this is i'm obsessed like this whole i'm so happy doing this video guys because these are the fragrances that when i put them on i already know what i'm going to get i know what i'm going to expect i'm just so super happy with these fragrances so another for life fragrance lamar by kajal here she is this is my baby this is the fragrance that started it all for me like seriously like i love this fragrance so much guys I purchased this fragrance with my own coins. Regular, was it regular price? No, it wasn't regular price. I think Nima Marcus was having like a a deal. I, I got I got 20% off or maybe 25% off. This fragrance is life for me, guys. I absolutely love this fragrance. I've read the notes. I haven't, first of all, I haven't seen anybody. I, I purchased this fragrance. Um, I got this fragrance a year ago. No one was talking about Tiziana Terenzi, maybe like one or two men on YouTube. I could not find a review on Tiziana Terenzi to bit. Guys, this fragrance retails for $450. I purchased this fragrance blindly on Neiman Marcus during the lockdown. I was trying to find reviews on Tiziana Terenzi. There was maybe one or two reviews on Tiziana Terenzi on um, YouTube. I didn't see any women talking about Tiziana Terenzi. It was like a couple of men talking about Tiziana. I could not find any reviews on Tiziana Terenzi to bit but guys I blind bought it I blind bought it because I was just like we're in a lockdown I don't know what's going on in the world I don't know what this thing is lord the world is coming to an end we're all about to die where are the canned goods put me in the basement like I don't know what's going on but I will smell good when I'm going out or if I didn't like it, I'm just like, okay, well, whatever. Like, I have nothing to do with my money anyway because the world is coming to an end. So that's what... <laughs> I'm totally joking, but honestly, like I'm joking a little bit, but that kind of was my mindset. I was blind by a queen. I was blind by everything during that time. So yeah, I jumped out the window and I blind purchased this fragrance and I have not looked back since. It's so beautiful, guys. It's fruity, guys. I love anything sweet and fruity. Give me a fruity fragrance, but this is a fruity fragrance with layers and depth. This is a beast. This fragrance is so exotic. This was my first 
fragrance that I, you know, did my YouTube video on because I was just like, this is so bomb. Like, I absolutely love this fragrance. This is me in a bottle. This is a fragrance that started my relationship with the fragrance group Tiziana Terenzi. Saw my review on Tibet. And then I started to get free fragrances from the fragrance group from Tiziana Terenzi. I mean, this this is like we're like we're connected. Like, this seriously is my soul sister right here. I absolutely love this fragrance. So let me tell you the notes. It opens up with bergamot, there's green notes, there's coconut, there's peach, there's warm sand accord, there's floral notes, there's vanilla, there's musk, cotton candy, woody notes, and amber. Guys, this fragrance is everything, okay? You heard the notes, I talk about it all the time. It is a for life, forever fragrance. Like I will always have this fragrance in my collection. Looking at her just makes me smile, guys. Like we done been through the trenches. Like I love this fragrance. And I feel like for your first Tiziana Terenzi fragrance, if you love a fruity fragrance, if you love amber, if you love a beast mode, powerful fragrance, I don't know anybody who does not like this fragrance. And no one has ever said to me, oh, I tried to bit and I didn't like it. Like I, mm. So find that person find that person for me please because we need to talk because this one right here is a winner and a banger and i absolutely love this to bit by tiziana terenzi so the next fragrance on the list is Sintra by memo guys did you not think she was going to be on the list i mean what did you think like seriously like she's on the list and she will always be on the list now guys this is my orange blossom marshmallow sweet fragrance but it opens up with pedigree so it's a little green in the opening. Guys, when I tell you this fragrance is everything to me, like seriously, I love this fragrance. I love wearing it. To me, you can wear this all year round. This is an all year round fragrance. Is it similar to Love Don't Be Shy by Killian? It is similar, but it has much more depth to it. Love Don't Be Shy by Killian is more sweet. And I just feel like it's just a very cloyingly sweet, beautiful orange blossom and marshmallow fragrance. This has that pedigree that makes it a little different. Not a little, it makes it a lot different. So it opens up with neroli and pedigree. There's bergamot, there's jasmine, there's milk, there's rose, there's cinnamon, there's marshmallow, there's Madagascar vanilla, there's caramel, there's musk and cedar. Guys, this is a winner. This fragrance lasts forever and a day, okay? forever in that one day on your skin it's so beautiful i get compliments on this fragrance i just want to smell myself not i not want to i smell myself the entire time when i'm wearing the fragrance so i told you guys i like to spray here and i'm just like it it can be i could be driving you know driving with one hand and then i'm just like mm, keep it pushing like i just love to smell myself like i'm seriously obsessed Friends call me fiend, you know, whatever. Call it what you want. But I mean, I just love smelling good. And this fragrance right here is so amazing, guys. It's so beautiful. If you haven't smelled this, guys, please get a sample of this and smell Sintra by Memo because it is amazing. I absolutely love this fragrance, guys. It will always be in a for life list. Last but not least, we have Fragrance Dubois, New York Fifth Avenue. Guys, this fragrance came into my life recently and has already made it on this list. Now, let me tell you, I had to fight with the Fragrance Dubois fragrances because I have six in my collection right now. And it was between, it was a toss up between this, um, Siberian Rose. Uh, well actually Siberian Rose is beautiful, but I wouldn't say it's a for life fragrance, but it is a very beautiful fragrance. Um, Oud Juan Intense, Juan, Juan, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, Oud Rose Intense. Oud orange like I was going back and forth like mm, I'm picking you I'm picking you but then in the end I decided to choose New York Fifth Avenue because this fragrance right here is that boss CEO <laughs> chief executive officer fragrance right here okay that's this one right here you feel rich you smell rich it's very similar to Oud Satin Mood by MFK but for some reason Oud Satin Mood on my skin just leans way more masculine this doesn't for some reason this doesn't I just love how this smells on me like I prefer this one but I do layer it with my Oud Satin Mood body lotion so this one has rose, there's bergamot, there's caramel, there's violet, there's cypriol, there's cashmere wood, there's gaia wood, there's musk, and there's vanilla. Guys, it's woody, it's a rose fragrance, it's so beautiful. Another one that you can purchase from soavantgarde.com using my 20% discount code, thegreat20, and save 20% off of this expensive AF fragrance, okay? All right, guys, so we've come to the end of the video and I've just showed you my 12 niche fragrances for life. And I will follow this video up with a designer list as well because guys, 
we wear niche fragrances over here and we love to smell luxurious and expensive but let's not get it twisted there's a lot of designer fragrances out here that smell amazing and that perform amazing and that are for life fragrances for me so i will have that list for you guys and let's talk about it in the comments below like what fragrances in your collection niche niche fragrances in your collection are for life fragrances let me know if we share like the same taste or what i need to add to the list let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do guys remember to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video peace